terrific Throwback Thursday. Who are you? Yeah, I'm me. Is that you? That looks like a vintage T-shirt. Me. T you know what me stands for? What? Mr. LJ. Mr. LJ. That's right. He is Mr. LJ. And I, I found out another reason he's Mr. LJ yesterday. He knows the back roads. And you took me on every side of the county. Every side that of the county. That was just the west side. Just or the part west side. of the west side. Mr. Jim took us on a ride. And you want to name a few of the things we saw? We saw lots of green pastures. We saw lots of pretty cattle and horses. And if I keep talking, you're going to know where we went. Yes, it was Gates Chapel <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Hill, what's it? What was the other one? That's what I was about uh, to say, where Vic lives, over that way? Yeah, uh, uh, Rest, Maple Rest. Maple Rest. And, uh, Never been there before. And Mountain Town, where all those uh, streams creeks. run together. Pretty mm -hmm. special place mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Saw some wild turkeys. Lots of them. Lots of them. Yeah, and they Lots ran along them. beside us. It was funny. It was kind of like they were ch ch yeah. keeping up with us. I know. And I ask you, had Jim ever let you down? Has Jim ever let you down? The truck has never let me down. It's always when you hit the starter, you go. But now, let me say that, and then <laughs> it's gonna quit. see what happens. <laughs> But if it does quit, I know who to call. That's right. Vic a, Davis. A 1950 <laughs> GMC with overdrive. And I now know what overdrive means. I'm going to say two initials. I can't say it on TV because it's a bad word. It means H-A. Because after you hit the overdrive, yep. you H-A. <laughs> you <laughs> Don't you, you run down 515 alongside BMWs. Fast. And have them look at you really strange. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And they're like, them hillbillies think they're going to town? Are you kidding me? I know. Yeah, we went to town. Lots of people don't know what over, they don't understand overdrive. In, in modern vehicles, it's built in, you know. But in those days, they had it going on, but you had to make it happen. It's manual. I love operating it. Hey, you don't have to worry about, there it goes now. Yeah. You don't have to worry about uh, somebody texting while driving that vehicle. <laughs> no, no. Because there's too much to do. You ain't got time to think about texting. Right, right. And there's, Where's this? This is as is we went Gage into Chapel? Gage Chapel. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. But I love that shot. I think that is just too cool. That is too cool. And that is at the top lot, which happens to be the most fabulous place to spend the day. Just sitting under a tree, talking to old friends, um, enjoying the moment. And we're going to share some of Vic's interview in just a little bit. You can thank old Vic Davis for the fact that that truck is rolling on its own power mm -hmm. right there because he Love did it. it. Love well, it. Well, okay, I did it, but he showed me how. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, and he did show you how. He's shown you a lot about life, and, and I have to give a tribute right now to two people who, um, my Uncle Fred, today is my mom's birthday in heaven, so happy heavenly birthday to my precious mama. But my Uncle Fred, my last living uncle, aunt, granny, grandpa, any, any of my kin that's not just a cousin, not to slice and dice the cousins, I love you all went to be with Jesus this morning. Uncle Fred was the coolest dude. There's my mama on her happy birthday. And there's Aunt Edith, whose boys might have been, um, those boys knew how to drive. They, um, they knew how to drive because they transported some product out of Dawson County every once in a while. Clear, my drift? clear yes. liquid looking stuff. Clear liquid, yeah, yeah. So Aunt Edith's boys, and there's Uncle Fred on his um, 88th birthday, wow. 89th birthday, wow. 89th. And he was 92, and he just went to be with Jesus. And let me tell you the cool thing about him. He lived life to its fullest. He was happy. He was doing something all the time. He was an amazing, kind person. I was in his wedding when I was three years old. So that tells you how long he had been my uncle. A long, long, long time. He married my precious Aunt Betty, <coughs> or as we called her, Saint Betty. Now, we also have a photo of David Clayton, who will be laid to rest today. David is my buddy, Vicki, and y'all love the Bible lady. You love her, and, and I know you miss her. That's my friend, Ray DeLuca, who does the car show. He is the MC and the DJ at all the car shows around Cherokee County, and you got to love Ray. He has been battling prostate cancer, but he's doing very well now. 
And we've been friends for over 50 years, and um, we'll always be friends. And we he's just a teeny bit, like a month younger than me. But we grew up in that era of good cars, great music, and just fun. And his family owned r and Hoagie Shop down in Canton for over 60 years. And just a good, good guy. Can y'all find that picture of David Clayton with his sister? Okay, we're going to show that. Not, not his, my David Clayton, right? Yeah. No, what? I got a David Clayton. Oh, no, not your David Clayton, no. Okay, it's another one. No, no. Okay. He's 39 years old. He went to be with Jesus. Tragic auto accident. He oh, was no. run over. Um, the young lady who ran over him, young driver, it was not her fault, and I feel so bad for her, for the family, for everybody. But that's Vicky's nephew, and he's going to be with Jesus mm. today. So, so please say a prayer for Vicky. Say a prayer for everybody who is dealing with loss or tragedy today because we all do that. We all do that. And I have to smile when I think about my mama because after my mama died, it took me about six months to get the gumption to go in her home and dispose of things and go through. I sat in the middle of the floor laughing myself to death because my mama wore big stiletto heels and jitterbugged and she was 72. And I'm like, okay, mama. She was active, she was amazing, she was strong, and she was a Virgo, and that meant you didn't deal with mama and you come out on the good end of the deal. Have you ever noticed that? I've seen that. Yeah, if you're dealing with mama, sometimes yep. you just let mama rule, so mama ruled. Well, happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, mama. All right, we spent time yesterday. Did you learn a little something yesterday about pots? If you got a window or a pot to throw it out, what did you learn about pots yeah, yesterday? Well, I, I didn't really know. I was. We've uh, got a picture of a greased up pot, and it's, I called it a, it's a Dutch oven. It's the big, huge Dutch oven. And it reminds me of what the chuck wagon gangs used to do, you know, and had a fire at a chuck wagon when they were doing their cattle steer or roundup or whatever. Right. And they had one guy who cooked for the whole bunch. This pot that you worked on yesterday, most of the day, would feed an army, wouldn't it? It was a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. <clears throat> Got it pretty clean. I hope I did it right. I don't know if I did or not. Tell the process you used. Well, first, I, I got a scrape, and I scraped it. He's telling you it was really, really rusty yeah, when you got it. Yeah, it was bad it. off. It, <laughs> yeah. was, it was in bad shape. And then I... Uh, I read it on the internet, I, I, I boiled salt water in it. <laughs> and then I, it got all stained and I poured that out and boiled some more salt water in it. And it got cleaned up pretty good. It's actually real clean. Uh, whether it's seasoned properly, I tried to do that afterwards. I don't know if it's seasoned right or not. You put lard <clears throat> in it and you... Put lard in it and, and cooked it some more. And I watched, and you cooked it, and you cooked it, and I thought, that pot's going to blow up and explode, because it had a lot of fire coming in it, didn't it? Yeah, it's a hot little thing up there, and uh, maybe it's seasoned properly. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll know soon enough. It's going to do a test run, yeah. and we'll see. If you have old iron skillets, that's probably... If I look at things in my kitchen that I call valuable, my iron skillets are probably my most valuable possession in I my kitchen. I got my mommies, all of them. Yes, yes. I yeah. eat out of them all my life, and sometimes I still eat out of them. Yeah. What I want is a wash pot, an old-timey wash pot, big old, wash, we call it a wash pot. Is that what you call right. it? Right, yep, that's what you call it. And there's a number three wash pot, it's the best size. It's the hardest to find, but it's a really cool one. Well, I want one. Well, we'll find one. If you one. have a number three or other wash pot for sale, call me. You got That's my right. name, look up the number. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, talk a little bit about Vic and y'all's experience yesterday. Mm. I was just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. And Vic came to see me. Uh-huh. On the top lot. And uh, he sat there with us, what? Couple hours. Couple hours. Yeah. yeah. So uh, sweet. We so did sweet. Have good talks. And she did some more documenting of times past. When he talked about his mama and the fact that his mama never got to use electricity. I know. Dwight, think about that. Yeah, I know. She raised six children. She did all their laundry. She gardened and canned and provided food for them. 
and she never saw electricity. He was telling how she'd make a fire in the uh, fireplace early in the morning, mm -hmm. and they would set, uh, I guess it must sound like a Dutch oven, mm -hmm. in the fireplace and make beans, cook them all day, and then that evening they'd have, they'd have dinner. And I'm gonna tell you something, when you cook beans on an open fire like that, you ain't had no beans until you did. <laughs> That's right. That's They're right. good. Well, we're going to share a little bit of the, the interview I did with Vic. Not much of it because it's 15 minutes long, but the whole thing at 16 minutes, I think, is actually on YouTube, and you can just type in Sherry Martin, C-H-E-R-I-E-M-A-R-T-I-N, and go to YouTube and, and subscribe, and you can see all the videos that we do from his music to your shenanigans at 57 Heaven to... Um, you know, just talking about old times and old ways, and as we rode the road yesterday, we saw old farms, we saw people gathering up their hay for the winter, yeah. and if they don't do it, then their cattle don't survive. Saw some guys hauling hay. And that's what it's about, you know, and there's still a lot of country living. Agriculture is a big deal here in Gilmer County, isn't it? Yeah, it's so a big deal anywhere. It's a big deal. Because without it, we don't eat. We don't eat. We don't eat. And, <laughs> we and need to realize that. People what, knew. Vic said his mama said that she canned, beginning in spring, she canned everything she could get her hands on because that meant her family would eat during the winter months. That's right. And that's very important. So we're going to take a break now. We're going to go to just a little bit of the food, maybe maybe five minutes of it with Vic Davis, and then we want we hope it will entice you to watch the whole thing on YouTube, and you can see the whole thing in its entirety. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. We have had a little interview with Vic Davis and we're going now, we're gonna interview Vic about the old timey ways. And I've got a 1929 cookbook sitting in front of me. That cookbook is older than Vic is. And that truck in front of me is a, what year is that truck, Vic? 36, 1936. That's older than me. <laughs> You know, now that I think about it, most everything out here is older than me. That's a good feeling. <laughs> Except for that young and over there. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> we are going to have a good day today visiting with a very, very special, special gentleman, Gilmer County's finest, Vic Davis, part of the Davis brother family. And um, on the earlier segment, we talked about your mom died at 49 years old. How sad was that? Um, how many children did your mother have? Six. Six children. Two, two girls and four boys. And all of them just about as fine as you are. Well, <laughs> I don't, we don't want to stretch this too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby's going to be watching and Bobby's going to say, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and he'll say the baby's the best of all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we were talking about your pickup truck in front of us now and uh, the fact that you bought it, brought it home, and Sally claimed it. So you kind of put it in her name and you let her enjoy claiming that truck, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, she, she claimed it the night I brought it home, and so as far as I was concerned, it was hers. Yep, there you go, there you go. That's a good man right there. That's a good man. How long did you work on that truck? I worked on it five years, uh, not every day, just when I had a little time and money. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. It took me five years. I, I actually finished it yep. and put it on the road in 1990. Yep. Now, that truck is a part of something that you and a very special man have been working on, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's part of a project. <laughs> it's part of the project. He he calls me as foreman, but I'm, I'm not hardly there yet. But <laughs> I don't know. I'd say you are the authoritative figure at 57 Heaven. <laughs> he trusts your advice, and, and y'all just have the greatest relationship. That I'm, is so I cool. might admit him. I might admit some of that when he starts paying me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Well, let, let's see what he's over here doing, because it looks to me like he's doing old-timey work. Ways, and he's cooking off a pot. Yeah. And you know how he found out how to do that, don't you? No, I'm. Uh, we looked on the internet. Uh, no. Uh oh. I done noted. He done noted. Oh. He done noted. He That's done noted. I, I used to boil it. I did clean pots for those guys in the war. Used to. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so full. Was that the Civil War? That's yeah. how I always cleaned them. Was uh, yeah. same thing you said on Google. Uh, uh -huh. I already knew it. You know, because yeah, yeah. I cleaned so many. Yes, back in back the olden in the days, yeah. It was on them landing uh, things, those uh, 
what do you call them? They float out in the sea and the plant landing, what do you call them? Was it LST? Something like that, yeah, that's what it was. And uh, them planes that come in there and land on that, and I, I always had, I was responsible for having your pods mm -hmm. clean when they come in. Uh -huh. Now, while you've sat down here, I want you to tell the story right now about that beautiful tree, because that is, we are sitting in a perfect spot. Tell me the story about that tree. He come up in 1987. I was mowing the yard one day, and I uh, uh, saw it coming up, and I mowed around it, and then I got some scissors and clipped around it, and I drove a stake up to the side of it, and it, was, it wasn't that tall, and a little oak leaf coming out of the ground. Look at it, y'all. Just look at that. It's amazing. And I kept on mowing around it, and me and my daddy, we'd always make sure we didn't cut the little oak, and yeah. there he is today. I tell you. Growing that, uh, raising oak trees will make you old. Yeah, yeah, that is 35 <laughs> years old, is that what you said? And I don't know, it's, it's it come up in 87, what is that, yeah. It's a long time, yeah, about 35. Yeah. Well, were we talking about this one? Yes, oh, yes, gosh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? And Vic, there's your truck. It, it is just, what a beautiful setting, what a beautiful sight. This would be a great place to build a home. This will be a good memory right here. This is beautiful. This back is, to Mr. Victor now. He's let's go tell back. He's going to about some old times. That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. What a precious, precious gentleman. He's what a, a man. Precious gentleman. Now, you and your daddy nurtured that oak tree and watched it grow. And that tree, and then what's the one where we always sit under the maple? that yeah. turns the beautiful colors. Silver leaf maple. Yeah. yeah. What, tell, is there a history with that tree? Well, it was there when I, when I bought the property in mm. 1985. And uh, we trimmed it up, and Daddy did. And uh, it's been there ever since. I, I love that spot. And that is truly where you feel at home. Yeah. <clears throat> now, yesterday, you took me in some places that I, a couple of those roads I'd been on a few times, and, and a couple I'd never, ever set set on at all, never seen them. But I can remember, I go out and look the back roads because you see this right here? This is liquid gold. This is pear honey. And you cannot make pear honey without old timey pear trees. So next year, y'all, this is your challenge. About the third week of, of July, into the first week of August, get out on the back roads and go look for old-timey pear trees because without the old-timey pears, you can't make what? Pear honey. And pear relish. relish. And is there a... And pear preserves. Yeah, can't do it. It was funny yesterday. Uh, came through Sam Hill Road and then I curled around through all these roads I know and I came in Maple Rest. Let me see your mic. We got a problem. Hold on a second. Yep. Okay. Hang on just a minute. Uh-huh. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> it's good now. Okay. All right. All right. Anyhow, what I was telling was, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> Much better. I'll turn it on next time. <laughs> all uh, right. Came in the back way into Maple Rest, and we were coming through all these pretty places and filming all this uh, creek frontage and all this stuff. And then we came to this house, and she said, now, what is this place? And on the carport sat a 36 Chevrolet pickup truck. Yeah. And I said, I think you know who lives here. <laughs> mm -hmm. She figured it out. I did, our sweet Victor. Sweet, sweet gentleman. What a beautiful setting and what a beautiful place. I know. Now that right there is, this is, this is truly his creation from something I did over 50 years ago because Nana Baker taught me to make this and a lot of people have been asking me about it. And I'll tell you how you do it, but I'll also tell you that I've ordered myself something that my mama had as a child and it's a certain kind of sifter that you, it comes with a wooden paddle <clears throat> and you can kind of make the guts of the pear go through this. So it makes the pear honey, and the pear honey is from the peelings and the cores. And I just boil them, boil them, boil them, boil them to get the pear juice. And then you take all the stuff out of it, <clears throat> and you kind of run it through this sifter with a cheesecloth. And then you just cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it. I don't use sure gel on it, but I throw a little bit of lemon to it that will make it start to set up. If you want to use sure gel, you can. But my buddy Vicki made a cake. It was called a Kentucky butter cake. And she drizzled this on it. And I will just tell you, 
to die for. It was so yummy. So that pear honey is just great. Yeah, it looks good. And it's basically made from the rakings and scrapings <coughs> of making pear preserves and making pear relish. So again, that's something that Vic's mama would have kept and saved and used because you're throwing it out to the hogs or you're feeding it to the goats and now all of a sudden I'm making pear honey out of it. So made sense to me. Now let's talk a little bit about the other roads we went on because we did the back roads and we're going to show a picture of baby Zanna who is, she lives on a back road. She lives on 382 which is not really a back road. But she's one month though, <laughs> and I just have to tell y'all, I am very smitten and very in love with this baby. She has the sweetest personality of any child I've ever seen in my life. She just goos and ahs and laughs, and she's one month old, and i uh, so thankful for her. Does she? <clears throat> so it's looking like she's gonna talk a lot? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh -oh. Well, I just wonder. <laughs> Where in the world did she get that from? I don't know. It Strange, could be ain't it? Heredity, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is she not, darling? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Tell me a little bit more about all the back roads you chose to go on yesterday. The back roads were, we came through Sam Hill, hit 52 West, and went up to Pleasant Hill. And we came back around into Mountain Town community. And that's where all those streams run together. I don't know how many people realize that, but there's about, there's three streams that come together out there in a spot. And, uh, you know, uh, then we came out and came through Maple Rest, and that's where Victor lives. And uh, it was a pretty good little drive. As you can see some cool stuff. Usually, you see more than we did yesterday, but we did see a lot of turkeys. Mm -hmm. And I, I do that a lot go through there and I see all these things. Deer, bears, turkeys. Is it turkey or turkeys? I don't know. I don't know. Turkey. Turkey. Donovan says turkey. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have a turkey sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> the wall. But anyhow, oh. we saw them. And uh, and there's another thing too, the, the, the turkey that has the thing on its chest. The gobbler. I think that I think thing. that means he's a boy turkey. Yeah. Is that right? I don't know. Lord, you, you hunters are looking at me right now going, <laughs> and you're on television? <laughs> <Turkeys>. <laughs> I better stick to talking about fifty seven Fords and music. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this hunting stuff. All right, let's talk a little bit about music because I'm going to share some information about a, a bike and classic car ride for charity that benefits White Christmas. It is Saturday, October the 8th. going to be a lot of good music there, and I think my buddy Ray DeLuca will but once again be the DJ, and if I have a flash drive with your music on it, yeah. I think I can get it played at car shows, see, because your music sounds like a car show. Mm -hmm. Your music sounds happy. Shooby doo wop bop. Yeah. Bop. Yep. So this is on October the 8th, 2022. I will be there, Hickory Flat Fellowship Church. You get a meal and you get a free concert and you get a lot of fun for $20 a car or bike. And it goes to buy Christmas for over 700 children in Cherokee County who would otherwise, woo, not have Christmas. <laughs> what was that? It's called <laughs> electronic feedback. I guess it was. It was very brief. Now you got to see some footage this morning from a drone. Let's talk about what we're about to do with the drone. Well, I'm not sure what we're about to do with the drone. It's uh, your business, I guess, but uh, no, it's this your guy in here, Tim, bought a drone and uh, I never seen such clear footage and such stable uh, navigation. We gonna show a little bit of that? And I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to show a little bit of that in a minute. So we got this new drone. We're going to do some things with it, I understand. And it might start at your property, sir. The camp. Could be. The camp. Could be. Because the first time I went there, I said, oh, we need a drone shot of this. Yeah. Oh, can you talk about the peacefulness of rushing water and... A school Rocks bus. Rocks the size of tractor trailers. Yeah, and a school bus camper. Is that not cool? I've been there. Yes. 
and done that. Yes. Uh, it's a pretty place. And that drone will shoot right up over the creek and just do things. I'm excited to see that. I, I don't know much about drones, but we know someone who does. We do. We do. And, you know, that's the cool thing. We have a crew behind us that we don't know anything about this stuff. He knows all about audio. He knows everything about audio. All I know is if that lights, you know, this is, that's all we know. We just know that this is the job that to sit down and do what we do, but we don't know the dynamics of what makes this work. They're the producers. They are. They, they are, are the George Martins of <laughs> ETC. They are. They are. And they are um, really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do whatever we need them to do, and Donovan reminded me of that. Yeah. And, and uh, sometimes I'll throw some crazy stuff at them and I'll say, can y'all do this? And they look at me, sure, of course we can. And then I know they bite their tongues. So. But we've brought live television to an element of, they've, we have visited with Vic Davis at your property. We've brought him in here. We've done, I think he relaxes more out in a setting like we were yesterday. Yeah, he seemed awful relaxed. Yeah. He's, he's getting better too. He's had surgery. He's, he's getting better now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's so thankful for all the prayers because a lot of our viewers love him and we're praying for him. And that's very, very important. We're going to go now to a little footage of the back roads that we did yesterday. And I think this is just the first clip, so we'll, we'll just do a little bit of it. I don't know if it got the turkeys in or not, but I can tell y'all, if I used to go 52 East all the time because all the apple houses were out there and I like to go out there and get apples and whatever. I know those back roads too. Yes, you, you do. You know why I know so many back roads? Yep. Because I've drove a school bus on every single <laughs> one of them many, many times. For how many years? 41. Years. Okay, now this is at Gates Chapel, <clears throat> and this is one of those roads that we went acres and acres and acres and acres, long distances and no homes. Yeah. But there are people building, and there are people still farming some of the big farms. So <clears throat> you might see a house, and then you might go five minutes and not see a house for a long time. So it's still really, really rural Georgia. Yes, it is. That's about as rural as it gets. And one of the cool things we saw yesterday were old buildings. And remember uh, that old building that they're letting the tin flop off oh. of it? No excuse. And that house was vacant. That was a really cool old house, and it was just sitting there vacant, but it's on a big, huge farm. And there are just acres and acres and acres. Would you say hundreds of acres? I would. Of, of that property alone, just huge. Yeah. yeah. And there's still farming going on and still a lot of agriculture. A lot of people are opening the vineyards up here and a lot of people are doing, um, like the lady I saw the farm out on, or on 52 East, she's doing meat processing. People are finding out that Ella J is a great place to move to. There's some really nice places down off of uh, 136 down in our next to Gordon County too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the Look shady, at the hood of that truck. Is shady, that not sweet? Yeah, the Shady Grove area. Uh -huh. Very pretty back in there. And this is um, probably 6.45 in the evening, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get to see a sunset, but um, there were the west sunsets in Gilmer County are some of the most beautiful anywhere. Just absolutely gorgeous. And the pink haze in the sky. Now we have a picture of Vic we'll show in a little bit that you your took. Your sunset is on the top lot. Yes, I know. There's I know. your sunset. I know, I know. It's just gorgeous. It's just, and, and these are just things, y'all, that all you have to do is get out and take a turn on a back road. And if you get lost, your GPS is going to get you back to where you started. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, we're gonna do a commercial break now because without sponsors, it wouldn't be here. So uh, pick up the phone and call all of our sponsors and say thank you for doing what you do. Get out today and support our local sponsors and uh, get, out to, get out and get to know the back roads. You can go to town, you can have lunch with whoever you want to. I know where my restaurant of choice is. I got two places I frequent and oh my goodness, I do love them. And then uh, just get out and do these back roads. So here we go. Dairy Queen's what the guys are screaming, and I'm screaming, Mike's L&J Restaurant. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We'll be back in just a minute.
you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, I have not seen this footage, but you and Tim discussed something. Yeah, we something. were looking at it. It's mm -hmm. real good. And um, photos from a drone shot. Now, yeah. can you, do you know how a drone operates? Because I don't have a clue. No, I don't know how to operate one. I know how they, I know how they operate. Does it work off of a cell phone? Is that uh, kind of how it works? Oh, we have a remote. Yeah, okay. okay. So, so Tim did some shots, and I haven't seen them yet. So y'all are going to get to see it at the same time I do. So Donovan, take it away. It's testing. Interesting. I know. Oh my <clears throat> gosh! Look how clear. Look at the detail. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at the detail. How neat is that? How neat is that? I cannot wait to see that over the camp. Oh my goodness and going down that creek and what if a trout were to jump up in the video well Wouldn't we've learned recently awesome? that there are trout in there 19 inch trout yeah, yeah i didn't know it yeah those are crystal clear that's beautiful beautiful and it's one of those things that that is look you can uh, that's really that's good. awesome I you know did that you did that too wow yeah, that's good yeah, that is cool is that brie uh, that's you oh okay cool that is too cool that is too cool Okay, we've showed you the back roads and shown you the back roads. <laughs> My mama would be saying, Lord have mercy. Where'd you she go to school She did not talk at? like that when I raised her. Okay, we're going to take you to a video that I did with him at his home. Uh, we actually have two of them. We're going to do country roads first. and I think you like that song. I love that song, but not just me. Y'all love it, and y'all keep saying he does that song really well. Well, you did this back in May, sitting at your studio, at your place where your band had just practiced. Practice. And so I said, do you mind sitting down here and just doing one by yourself? I would rather, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. And I said I did mine, but we did it anyway. I would rather 
have you and a guitar without all the background music. I know. Because for the mountains, y'all agree with me. Everybody say, yes, Sherry, we agree. One guitar and the mountains, yeah. yes, yes, they all agree. Yes, they all the agree. The older I get, the <laughs> more I like flat top guitars. That's right, that's right. I guess the John Denver's coming out in everyone. It is, it is. As long as you don't turn that way he turned on politics. If you do, I'll have to oh, fire gosh. you. Oh, gosh. I'll have to fire you. So. Yeah, I know. All right, we're going to take you now to Dwight Sanford in his home at his residence, just sitting there strumming a guitar, doing my favorite song, we're going to do two songs, actually, so here we go. Okay, ready? Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than Yes. Roland, welcome to the Dwight House. This is my favorite song that I have written. Today is May 23rd, 2022, believe it or not, still here. And it's a tribute to Badfinger, one of my favorite bands, and uh, the things that I've seen happen right here in my hometown. Looking down from a hilltop, lights of my hometown. This place is all so different now. They close the blue roof down. The old 
but it's all Now, the greatest thing about live television is what you see is what you get. And I did something yesterday, and I don't think you noticed it, but I did my first television program since you first came on the air yesterday without any of your music. I don't appreciate and it. And I got complaints from people who said, where's the music? Them but, people out there, they're but, listening. But, but, but they're listening. But then at the same time, you know what I got? The sweetest comments about Precious Donovan. And everybody said, I didn't know that y'all had such you, a long-lasting relationship. I'm so thankful for the crew I have today. I'm so thankful that live television can be pulled off. Now listen, wait a minute. He's, I knew him in diapers. That's the truth. I've known Donovan since it was diaper time. But this is, Dwight is going to sample my Are you glad she hanging. told that part? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dwight, Dwight is going to sample my pear honey, and he has not tasted it yet. And if he spits it out on my quilt, I'm going to whoop him right here on live TV. Yeah. So don't you spit that out on my All quilt. Right. Well, it better be good. Yeah. Pear honey. This pear is honey. my first time sampling this. Yeah. We're going to taste it on live TV. There you go. Okay, you ready? Ready. You want me to be honest or? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh, you didn't spit it out. Yep, I'll take it. You'll take it. Yeah, it's good. really good. <laughs> really good. It's delicious. <laughs> I won't do like they do on other TV shows where they go. It was so good. I hope I hope I hope I'll swallow it and then talk. How's that? <laughs> so it passed the test? Yeah, it's really good. And it it's is not so that simple. sweet. No, no. It has a little tart wing to yes, it. I like yes. that. Yes, because you use yeah. the peelings. I'll eat the whole jar. Yeah, it? yeah. No. You, you use the peelings and you use the cores. And honestly, y'all, I cannot wait to show you. It probably going to be delivered to the house today. I ordered two things like my mama had when I was a kid. It's this huge cone-shaped thing. The guys in there, stuff. they brought me this spoon. Is there any way y'all could do some biscuits right quick? <laughs> yeah, with biscuits with butter. Can, can y'all do some biscuits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I need yeah. biscuits. Yeah, and they won't let you know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. <laughs> they said the spoon come out of the dirty sink. Mm -hmm. it's all right. <laughs> Was that good? It is. It's really good. There you go. This is going to my house. And y'all, it is so simple. Take your peelings from your pears, take your cores, boil them, boil them, boil them, boil them down. And I do put a little bit of my spices in that while I'm boiling it down. And then I sift it out and I smush, smush, smush any stuff that might be in it through a cheesecloth. And then, and then I get, um, it's crazy. You have to sock the sugar to it, and I yeah. did go mild on the sugar because of you, because you don't like a lot of sugar. I'm anti-sugar. But you can do it as sugary as you want it, and I'm telling y'all, it is good. You can put it on your ham. If you're going to glaze a ham, yeah. if you're baking a ham for the holidays, you can put a little bit of that pear relish on it, and it just gives it this, uh, number one, wonderful aroma while it's cooking, but then the flavor just seeps down in it. It's wonderful. So okay, it, in, in the event that I were to be invited back here by some... <laughs> Yeah. Slim right. chance. Yeah. Could we have some biscuits, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next time, we'll bring call biscuits. Dairy Queen and Trace, tell them to deliver. we need biscuits. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. I like mine a little thin and extra brown. <laughs> yes, okay. he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. You know, we have been so blessed with all these months of fun and laughter and getting to know the roads and the county and places that you knew all about and I knew nothing about. And, um, it, it is so much fun to get your comments and to read. And look at that. You're eating more. He doesn't eat sugar, y'all. He's sitting here eating. But it's good. It's not that sweet. Is that good stuff? It's really not that sweet. And it's good. Good. And it looks amazing in a jar, and it's a great gift. I started making this years and years ago to give as gifts. And when Nana Baker taught me to make it, and oh, let me tell y'all, you are going to die. The week of Apple Festival, we're going to have homemade muscadine jelly that Dawn is making as we speak. And I will tell you, if you think her sauce no, is good. No, I'll tell you. Yeah. 
this dawn lady, <laughs> it's her kid. Yeah, yeah. She can whoop you up some really good other stuff. Yeah. Not uh, pear, pear honey. She make all kinds of uh, the best salsa in the world. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I sneak it into Mexican restaurants. He does. He yeah, does. I he do. does. And people love it. Um, she's been selling that for years and years and years. And yesterday, I think she did about 32 pints of the jelly. She has massive amounts of muscadines. Do not let anything go to waste, y'all. Do not let this bounty go to waste. Get I know pears. where there's a muscadine crop. Where? I need to tell it. Is it a secret? It's a secret. Oh. Would you yep. tell Dawn? I'll tell Dawn. Okay. But okay. I can't be telling you. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because I know how you are. <laughs> I'd tell somebody else about it and I'd share. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so guilty of easy to Easy to harvest, know exactly where they're at. And they're probably there right now. Are they? Are they? Are they it's ripe now. right now? It's now. Right now, yes, ain't it? Yeah. It's now. We, I need to check on this. Yes, yes, you do. I'll send Dawn in the right yes, direction. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, and, and if you look at what this has produced, this is an old-timey pear tree that literally at an old home place was sitting there for years and nobody was doing anything with this crop. I've made pear honey, pear relish, and pear preserves. This is because you started the trend <clears throat> of getting me pears out of Chatsworth and then other people got me pears and Steve and Heather got me beautiful, huge pears. I've still got some in the refrigerator at HH that I'm yep. going to do this afternoon. And, and there's an HH. Yeah, there's an HH, yeah. And uh, we are going to have bounty this fall that we can share on your holiday table. You know, when you set the table for the holidays, get your jar of pear honey out and put them hot biscuits out there and really entertain your guests. I know a song. Yes, you sir. You want me to sing? Yes, sir. Okay. All you old people I grew up with out there on 282, you'll remember this. We would play this song. We used to do something called, uh, don't ask me how I took off on this, but it's okay. just fun. <laughs> we used to do something called, it's, it's serenading was, would, would be the word, but we called it serenading. And we'd go to people's house on Halloween, and we'd, somebody would have a guitar, usually me, and there'd be some buck dancers with us. And we'd go into their house on Halloween. We'd, call, we'd dress up. We didn't have big fancy costumes. We just made stuff out of flower sacks. And we went into their house. We'd go to the, from house to house, walking up and down Tails Creek out there. And we'd go in their home and we'd serenade them. <laughs> okay. Lord and I'd play, or somebody'd play the guitar. I might have been too little, I don't know, but play Wildwood Flare. And they'd buck dance. And it was a show. And those boys could buck dance. Oh. Wilmer DeFore, Charlie DeFore, Winston Sanford, Vincent Sanford, they could buck dance, trust me. And we'd go in and we'd serenade them and we'd do that. And here was the song. Boil them cabbage down, bake them biscuits brown. The only song that I can play is boil them cabbage down. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and that was entertaining, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me tell you uh, something else. I can't unlike do. this little segment here, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something else I can't do, and you're gonna die laughing. Well, laughter's good medicine, so good, great I medicine. just took some dope. <laughs> My doctor would laugh at you and say she's uncoordinated. She can't buck dance. I can't sing and I can't buck dance. But my kid can clog. Don can clog too. Yeah. And Don could be out here clogging to you or singing. Would that not be fun? Absolutely. That Absolutely. would be so much fun. Boy, I can see them old boys buck dancing right now in them <clears throat> plow boots. Some of them would have cowboy boots and they'd get heel taps. You remember heel taps? Yeah, yeah I've they still get got heel some taps on their, they get heel taps, taps on, their, on their boots or something. And it sounded like a, a drum machine. I swear it would. They were good. Them guys were good. And are any of those people still around? Not none of the ones I just mentioned. Wow, wow. You know, we look back and we laugh about the old ways and we love the old ways. And, and one day soon, we're going to be sharing a video, parts of it, that we shot at your house about you talking about the amazing things that you have in your home because you do treasure the old ways and you treasure those old memories. I'm a... What was that song said? I'm a prisoner of the old familiar ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And it ain't bad either. It's, mm -mm. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, your mama's been gone over 20 years. Mm, 20, 19. 19. Yeah, yeah. Okay, out of that time without her, there's never been a day you didn't miss her, is there? Of course not. No. No. And I said every single day, I think about the last day I had with my mama, and mama died in July, and then I buried my husband six weeks later, so twice in six weeks I planned a funeral. But during that time, when mama went to be with Jesus, I said, well, J.S. will make it because God wouldn't do this to me twice. I've seen so many of you send me precious messages that you've lost your child and you learned from how I survived it. Y'all, I survive it every day. We have to survive loss every ain't single that, day. That's something else, ain't Every day. Every day, I think of my daddy. Every day, I think of my mother. Mm -hmm. And every single day, and this is the truth, I think of my ex-girlfriend. There you go. You got to guess which one. Uh-oh. <laughs> there were multiple. Yep. There were many. <laughs> Good luck. I'll give a hint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> baby blue. <laughs> but you know, that's that's something we look back oh, on. Oh yeah, I was past. about to eat some more of that. Be so sugared up. <clears throat> We're leaving folks today with a song that you wrote. Can you talk a little bit about Welcome to Ella J? Welcome to Ella J. It's the same old song and dance. It's uh I wrote it about the memories I have of this place and what I recall. The people I've known and uh, cars, times, nothing like sitting out in front of Simon Banks, a service station and watching somebody pull out of the red dot parking lot and it takes a while for the tire smoke to clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the days, that was the days. And those days are gone, Uh huh. but the memories will never be gone. Oh, no, 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 they're going no. with me. Yeah, and yeah. you've captured the memories of this town in this song because many of the places you talk about, the pool hall doesn't exist anymore, Red Dot doesn't mm -mm. exist anymore. No. Nope. But the back roads do. Yep. And so you want to encourage them back people, roads. get out there on the back roads and really yep. get to know Ella J. But don't do it unless you have a CD player <clears throat> that you can stick his CD in and you can play Welcome to Ella J. And how do you like them apples? How do you like, he, are you on Spotify? No. Well, you will be soon. Okay. There you go. We're going we're gonna to put you on Spotify. Okay, okay. Because that is the easiest way if you're driving around with your cell phone, you can get on Spotify. Boy, but also, I get on YouTube and when we're out riding the roads, I just hit YouTube and play his songs. So. So there are multiple ways to do it, but get out on the back roads, and, and we're going to leave you, as you listen to this song, it is truly about the town mm -hmm. that you love and the town that Every you Every word in. is true, told the truth, and made it rhyme. Check out how it rhymes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And check out how make good it makes you feel. Yeah. The music just makes yeah. you feel good. So as and we And when leave, you listen to it, it makes me feel good, too. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're going to leave you now because the song is long enough that we won't have time to come back for a goodbye. So you got anything you want to say about your buddy Vic? Vic, you hang in there. I bet you're watching. You I just hang you in there, buddy. You're yep. doing good. Yep. Your surgery, you're getting healed up. Everything's going to be fine. Me and you got songs to sing and Chevrolets to restore. Right. Sorry, Ford guys. Yeah. Don't hate me. Yeah, and and let me say, he chose the shot where I filmed Vic, and I want y'all to go to YouTube and watch the whole thing. I was doing it at one angle, and I chose the complete wrong angle, and he said, why don't you move and get those old cars in the background? Yeah. That's why he's the boss. Sorry, Vic, they're Fords. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I just think it's funny. But that's why he's the boss. So here we go. Let's go to Welcome to Ella J. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette. Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be.
Cruisers run right through the middle of town. And late in the evening when the sun goes down, you can drive through and hear the happy sounds of the folks in Ella J. Now way back in the summer of 73, the Red Dot parking lot was the place to be. But you could get more than what you bargained for Back in those days in Ella J Yeah, you could <laughs> Ella J, a mighty fine place to be Ella J, good enough for you and me Yeah, 69 Come and see. 